Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors and I usually teach English, math, and psychology. And today we're going to be talking about attention in psychology. So attention can be defined as the concentration of awareness on some phenomenon. So awareness and focus on the here and now. And attention involves the immediate experience of the individual, so there are so many things in the world that distract us and interfere with our attention. Um, there's also events occurring inside our bodies that can mess with our attention. However, when we do focus on a limited subset of the whole, so on, uh, on one small thing um, instead of everything around us, that subset gains the attention of the individual. So this focus on one thing, as well as controlling the many other stimuli around us, um, that's basically mediated by the human brain. So our brains have incredible ability to process events. It has a limited capacity, um, however, so a researcher named Broadbent designed an experiment called the dichotic listening task. So to figure out the processes involved in switching attention, um, he wanted, well, he mainly wanted to see how people focus on something or selectively attend to something. So what he did was he overloaded participants with stimuli by sending a three-digit number into the right ear while sending a different three-digit number into the left ear. So they had headphones on and participants had to listen to both messages and repeat what they heard. So you can only pay attention to the message in one ear at a time, and the message in the, one, in the other ear is lost. However, people were able to sometimes repeat um, the the items from the unattended ear because um, our short-term memory is able to store some information coming from the unattended ear for like a very uh, small period of time. So Broadbent and um, other researchers, they, uh, their models of attention describe the limited capacity for paying attention as a bottleneck. So the bottleneck restricts the speed at which um, a drink such as milk pours out of the bottle and our brain goes through information processing steps to help the material and stimuli we come across pass through this bottleneck. So children appear to develop patterns of attention related to the cultural patterns of their families, communities, and institutions in which they participate. So um, many indigenous children in the Americas predominantly um, learn by observing and by pitching in. So there's several studies that support um, the use of keen attention towards learning um, and they say that it's much more common in indigenous communities of North and Central America rather than um, in the middle class setting. So there are countless models of how attention um, differs among types, among various approaches to explain processing, etc. So um, it is a very broad field in, field in cognitive psychology and it involves many other interrelated topics such as memory and multitasking, neuropsychological aspects, and more. So that was an overview of what attention is in the field of psychology and thank you for listening and have a great day.